Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Nazri and all my classmates. Uh, my name is Nur Fatina Dira Binti Asri. Uh, my matrix number is 049943 and I'm from Band 7A. Today, me and my group are going to talk about uh, this one topic that is often happening around us, whether inside or outside our country, which is inequality of economic opportunity. Inequality or economic inequality uh, refers to the difference between the rich and the poor, the have and have nots, which is it is shown by people's different position within the economic distribution, uh, which refers to wealth, pay and income. Inequality is large in a society where a few people own a disproportionate amount of the economic pie. Inequality of opportunity lies on uh, lies at the very heart of discussion about inequalities and social welfare. It occurs when people living in the same society do not have the same access to the same opportunity. It is important to know the causes of inequality. For example, if there is inequality of opportunity, for example, people don't have access to expand their business, this is a bigger problem for the entrepreneur to survive in the business field, which is full of much bigger competitors. In this topic, we will go in depth and more focusing on the inequality of economic opportunity in cosmetics business world. This inequality can be seen um, by looking at how small cosmetic businesses try to survive in the business world. For example, Dato Ali Shukri, with uh, 450 ringgit as a capital, he opens up a cosmetic store at a morning market in section 13, Kalana Jaya and Sri Andalas on every weekends. Unexpectedly, his business was accepted by everyone. His talkative uh, characters successfully attract his customer. His interest in the cosmetic world have brought him to widen up his business and he tried to apply for a loan uh, from the bank but rejected. As he got help from his friends who convinced the bank officer, he successfully got uh, the capital of 100,000 ringgit and with that money, it changed Dato Ali Shukri's life. On the other hand, Kylie Jenner, the founder of Kylie Cosmetics, was just 10 years old when she made her debut on her family's uh, reality television series, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. A decade on, the show is still going strong and its youngest star is now the famous family's highest earner. Forbes magazine say Kylie is now worth at an estimate $900 million. At the age of 20, she is on track to become a billionaire with a total social media reach of $160 million. Here, we can see how the inequalities of economic opportunities uh, in cosmetic business world. The small business tends to struggle more to survive in the world of business compared to the bigger one. With all the profit that has been gained by the bigger company, they tend to hire celebrity endorsement to expand their company even more, and this gives a big impact on the consumer uh, buying behavior. For example, uh, you couldn't sit through a commercial break without seeing the teen pop icon of that time, Britney Spears, endorsing Pepsi, which is a deal which brought her at least $50 million. Earlier this year, Selena, Selena Gomez was named brand ambassador of uh, luxury brand Louis Vuitton. Uh, the ads were rolled out via Instagram, which sure was a canny move since Gomez is the most followed person on uh, Instagram with a huge global fan following. The post scored more than 1 million likes in the first um, two hours it, it was posted. This shows that the people with a big influence and social link connection has a better opportunity to get richer compared to the ordinary person. So that's all from me. I'll pass uh, the floor to the next presenter. Thank you. Nasruddin 049949 and I will be explaining on the gaps and solution of the inequality of economic opportunity in cosmetic business world. Having an accomplished establishment or a successful self branding before opening a business would help in catapulting sales and putting the brand on the map in the world business. Fancy Beauty is a cosmetic brand co-founded by the celebrity icon Rihanna. Just a year from the brand's first ever launch back in September 2017, Fenty Beauty generated over 550 million revenue, making it more successful than other celebrity-fronted brands such as Kim Kardashian, KKW Beauty, Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetic, and Jessica Alba, Honest Co. Newsweek gave a statement on the impressive startup brand achievement. 
There is no doubt that Rihanna's international fame served as a huge springboard when the brand's first launch. With over 100 million followers on Instagram alone, she has an incredible reach compared to others just starting with a new business. While this has surely benefited the rich, it creates a big obstacle for the new startup company to overcome. The only chance you have at success is to first build up your company with a strong presence. Another rich getting richer example from a national point of view. Shout interviewed Dr. Alif Shukri as the winner of the Entrepreneur Award icon with the question, what is the strength of the D Herbs empire? This is his answer. I am an entrepreneur, a spokesman, and also a model to my product. My personality is my product. And if I have 1.2 million followers on Facebook and Instagram, my product will become closer to consumer and customer, said the multimillionaire celebrity businessman. Inequality of economic opportunity exists here. We can see that there is a wide gap between an already wealthy and established company having even more opportunity to market and sell their products. As compared to the overlooked and smaller ones, that could not reach a wider audiences, even if they market quality products. This affects their economic opportunity. The slower you go, the further you get left behind. And this is how the poor becomes poor. Local cosmetic brands such as Painted Cosmetic, Velvet Vanity, and even Stage Cosmetic that has operated for over 15 years could not keep up with the sudden surge of the D-Herbs empire. Now, what are the solutions to overcome or possibly end the inequality of economic opportunity in the cosmetic business world? According to Forbes, on how small businesses can compete with big businesses, number one, build up your brand with strong presence. Begin by establishing your own successful self-branding. Have a platform of your own. Make a name for yourself and make yourself publicly known. Try to understand the more people that knows who you are, the bigger the scope of audiences and customer you would reach. A piece of advice from Paul Hadfield. As a startup, you should be willing to work for free, give things away, and completely over-deliver on everything. It will pay itself off many times over. Number two, invest in digital marketing. Social medias allow companies and people to make direct and personal relationships, building virtual communities for people with common interests. Rather than overt marketing methods, most consumers seek support, entertainment, inspiration, and connection with your brand. Thus, developing a trustworthy brand image in the eyes of your customers. And lastly, embracing influencer tactics and celebrities' endorsement. Adopting influencer marketing strategies and moving at a faster pace can help save companies from being pushed back by the competition. If brands are to thrive, they must recruit influencer. Euro Monitor's lifestyle survey found that half of the top marketing influencers were digital and social media led. While celebrity endorsement builds credibility and can expose a brand to new markets, the celebrity effect is the ability of famous people to influence others. Companies can use that star power and influence to boost their own products and services. People are more likely to believe a recommendation or endorsement from a well-known respectable representative. Celebrities can add credibility and glamour to a brand. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Serena Wahindi Binti Junaidi and my matrix number is 049450. We have reached the final part of this video documentary which is the conclusion. In conclusion, aligned with the main issue, which is the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, we have come to the deduction that one of the main reasons why the rich can stay on top while the poor are struggling is because of social connection. Celebrities or well-born people always seem to have it much easier because of their already well-established name as compared to amateur startups that have close to no connection at all and are always faced with rejections. But with proper investment and the correct strategies, small businesses can still compete with big businesses. Strategies such as building up your brand with a strong presence, establishing a successful self-branding, having a platform of your own, and making a name for yourself can definitely help to make yourself and your business publicly known, thus helping in making you grow. 
as the title of our documentary of Inequality of Economic Opportunity, we have discussed in depth about our opinion on the matter of the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, where the people who are living in the same society do not have the same access to the same opportunities only because they came from a humble background. Thank you for watching and goodbye.